Have you ever wondered why diamonds are so expensive? Indeed, we're about to dive into the glittering world of diamonds, a universe where beauty is often shrouded in mystery. Diamonds, they're the ultimate symbol of affluence, an emblem of love, and a testament to commitment. For centuries they've been adored and admired, coveted and cherished. From the wealthiest of monarchs to the humblest of lovers, diamonds have found a place in the hearts of many, sparkling with a promise of forever. They're perceived as rare, precious gems that are worth every penny. But is this perception as solid as we've been led to believe? Let's take a step back and think about the diamond's journey. It's a fascinating tale that starts deep within the Earth's crust, where intense heat and pressure transform carbon into the brilliant gem we so admire. From there, it's a long, arduous road to the jeweler's display case. But the journey doesn't end there. The diamond's value is further enhanced by tales of romance and commitment. It's become a tradition, a symbol of love that's as enduring as the gem itself. And yet, there seems to be a disconnect between what we perceive and what truly lies beneath this glittering facade. You see, the diamond industry has a knack for spinning tales, creating an illusion of scarcity when, in fact, diamonds aren't as rare as we might think. They've managed to build an empire on a narrative that's as brilliant as the gems they sell, deceiving lovers and consumers alike. And as we delve deeper into this sparkling world, we'll uncover the layers of deception that lurk beneath the surface. We'll explore the market tactics, the price inflation, the controlled supply, and the artificial demand. We'll delve into the fascinating world of diamond alternatives, shedding light on the gemstones that offer the same sparkle at a fraction of the cost. So is the diamond's value really as clear-cut as we've been led to believe? Well, that's what we're about to find out. Stay tuned as we unravel the big diamond lie, peeling back the layers of this glittering facade. What if I told you diamonds aren't inherently valuable? Quite a thought to mull over, isn't it? Here's something to chew on. The diamond industry has been playing a game of supply and demand with us for decades. It's a cleverly orchestrated symphony of economics, where the diamond cartels hold the conductor's baton. They control the tempo, the rhythm, and the volume of the diamond market. You see, these cartels, they artificially limit the supply of diamonds. Yes, you heard it right. They hold back diamonds, creating an illusion of scarcity. The fewer the diamonds, the higher the demand, and consequently, the steeper the price. It's basic economics, really. But what if I told you there's more to this story? The diamond industry wants you to believe that diamonds are rare. They're marketed as these elusive, precious gems that are hard to come by. But the truth? Diamonds are not that rare. Sure, they're not as common as grains of sand on a beach, but they're certainly not as scarce as the industry would have you believe. You might be thinking, well, if diamonds aren't that rare, why are they so expensive? And that, dear listener, is where the deception lies. The price of a diamond isn't a reflection of its rarity or inherent value. It's a reflection of the industry's ability to control supply and manipulate demand. So the next time you find yourself marveling at the sparkle of a diamond, remember this. That shine, that luster. It's not a symbol of rarity or value. It's a symbol of a market controlled by cartels, a market built on deception and artificial scarcity. Diamonds, it seems, are not quite the precious gems we thought they were. Ever thought about the true cost of that diamond ring? It's not just the hefty price tag of the jewelers, but a cost that extends far beyond the confines of your wallet. The allure of diamonds, their shine, their brilliance, has a hidden price. A price paid by the earth and the people who labor tirelessly to extract these precious stones. Diamonds, often marketed as symbols of love and commitment, have a darker side, one that is seldom talked about. Let's travel to the heart of Africa, where the majority of the world's diamonds are mined. Here, workers toil under harsh conditions, risking their lives every day in the pursuit of these gems. Many of these miners are underpaid, overworked, and often exploited, with safety measures being a mere afterthought. The diamond industry, for all its glitter, remains shrouded in instances of human rights violations and child labor. The human cost is not the only price we pay for these glittering stones. The environmental impact of diamond mining is equally devastating. 
Large-scale operations often involve the removal of vast amounts of soil and rock, leading to deforestation and habitat destruction. Rivers are diverted, ecosystems disrupted, and once fertile lands are left barren and unusable. Moreover, the process of extracting diamonds from the earth is energy-intensive, contributing to the emission of greenhouse gases. The water used in the mining process often ends up polluted, affecting both wildlife and local communities. So, the next time you gaze upon a diamond, remember the true price of its shine. The hands that risked everything to bring it to the surface, the land scarred by its extraction, and the ecosystems forever altered by its pursuit. The diamond industry has indeed made efforts to address these issues, adopting ethical sourcing practices and investing in restoration efforts. However, the question remains, is the sparkle of a diamond worth this price? The sparkle of a diamond may not be worth the price we pay. As we move forward, it's crucial that we reevaluate our values and make choices that reflect not just our desires but also our responsibility towards our planet and its people. Scene Script are there other stones that can match the diamond's allure, you may ask? Well, indeed there are. Let's delve into the captivating world of diamond alternatives, where brilliance meets affordability and sustainability. First, let's talk about Moissanite, discovered in a meteor crater and named after its discoverer, Henri Moisson. This gemstone is literally a star-born beauty. Moissanite shares a great deal of characteristics with diamonds, such as its exceptional hardness and brilliance. But where it truly shines is in its fire, the ability to break light into all the colors of the rainbow. This attribute is even stronger than that of a diamond. And here's the best part. It comes at a fraction of the cost of a diamond, making it a fabulous choice for those seeking splendor without breaking the bank. Next on our list is cubic zirconia. Now don't be fooled by the somewhat scientific name. This gem is a dazzler in its own right. Though it's softer than a diamond, it mimics a diamond's clarity and sparkle quite impressively. It's also a great choice for those who want a clear colorless stone but are working with a tighter budget. But what if you love everything about diamonds, but not the ethical issues and environmental impact associated with their mining? Enter lab-grown diamonds. These are real diamonds, but instead of being formed over billions of years beneath the Earth's crust, they're created in a lab over a matter of weeks or months. They have the same physical, chemical, and optical properties as mined diamonds. They're also a more sustainable and ethical choice, as they don't involve harmful mining practices or conflict zones. And guess what? They're typically less expensive than their earth-mined counterparts. So as you can see, there are plenty of alternatives to diamonds that offer comparable, and in some cases even superior, qualities. Whether you're drawn to the celestial origins of moissanite, the affordable sparkle of cubic zirconia, or the ethical appeal of lab-grown diamonds, there's a gem out there for you. Perhaps it's time we looked beyond diamonds for our symbols of love. So what have we learned about the diamond industry? We've journeyed together through the glittering facade, piercing the diamond deception to reveal the harsh realities beneath the shine. We've seen how the industry has woven a complex web of artificial scarcity and inflated prices, spinning a narrative of rarity and value that, upon closer inspection, starts to lose its luster. We've uncovered the truth about these sparkling stones. Diamonds, as it turns out, are not as scarce as we've been led to believe. The scarcity is a carefully orchestrated illusion, a marketing strategy designed to keep prices sky-high. This inflated pricing doesn't just hit our wallets, it fuels a cycle of exploitation and environmental degradation. We've delved into the human cost of the diamond industry, the grueling labor conditions, the exploitation of workers, the communities disrupted and displaced by mining operations, and then there's the environmental toll, the vast open pit mines that scar the landscape, the water pollution, the deforestation. All this for a stone that while beautiful, is far from rare. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also explored the alternatives to diamonds, stones like moissanite and cubic zirconia that offer the same sparkle at a fraction of the cost, lab-grown diamonds that give us the beauty of the real thing without the ethical and environmental issues. 
There are options out there for those who want the shine without the shadow. In short, we've learned that the diamond industry is a complex and multifaceted entity, much like the stones it sells. It's an industry built on illusion and inflated value with a hefty human and environmental price tag, but it's also an industry ripe for change, with alternatives that offer a glimmer of hope for a brighter, more ethical future. Next time you look at a diamond, remember all that glitters is not gold?